Alright, now I'm going to be reviewing the Papo Allosaurus now. Alright, so... This is a really, really amazing replica. Um, it's, look, it seems to be heavily influenced by the work of Todd Marshall, who was a paleo artist. Um, look up some of his stuff and you'll see a bit of a simul similarity. This is the first Papo dinosaur not, this was the first Papo dinosaur not inspired by a creature from Jurassic Park. And, as a, and it's amazing. Wow. The detail is really exquisite. You can see it from here. By the way, those aren't feathers. They're actually raised scales. The feet, the detail around the feet are amazing. Even the detail on the knuckles. I really like the crocodilian like scales along the back. The colour is really nice too. It's not too bright. Um, I, I think I like my dinosaurs a little bit more like greens, greys, yellows. You know, like sort of earthy colours rather than like really bright colours. But anyway, the figure has the same thing as the Velociraptor. The detail inside the mouth, the roof of the mouth, the tongue underneath the tongue is absolutely spectacular. They've gone to so much trouble with this figure. And, yeah. I, I literally, this is, this is another one that I highly, highly, highly recommend to any dinosaur enthusiast. Um, it's probably the best Allosaurus on the market. And particularly for its price, it's relatively cheap. You can find them on eBay pretty cheap. Alright, well, the next review is going to be the Papo Tyrannosaurus, but I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, sorry about not being able to move him around too much and show you. Mine falls over, it doesn't stand on its own. So, well, thank you for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, whatever you wish. Um, and, yeah, thank you for watching.